the Colts. Not a team you would currently think of as a good team, but Indianapolis has been a pretty solid team this season despite some setbacks. There were a lot of eyes on Indianapolis ahead of this season because of their new rookie quarterback, Anthony Richardson. He was a pretty polarizing draft prospect, but Indianapolis didn't care and took him fourth overall at the draft. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see too much of Anthony Richardson this year because he only ended up playing in four games and ended up having season-ending shoulder surgery. Now, if you want to know more about Anthony Richardson and his path to the NFL and all that stuff, go ahead and watch this video that we dropped about a month ago on it after you're done watching this one. The Colts ended up going 2-2 two and two with Richardson as the starter and were 3-2 and two overall over the first five weeks of the season. Richardson ended up missing week three with a concussion and Gardner Minshew had to step in and play in his absence. Minshew is the veteran quarterback that the Colts went out and signed in the offseason and they gave him a one-year, $3.5 million contract. Minshew had spent the last two years with the Eagles behind Jalen Hurts and started in two games over that span. Then before that, if you remember Minshew Mania, he started 20 games for the Jaguars over a two-year period before Trevor Lawrence got there. I gotta say, he's actually been reasonably solid as an NFL quarterback, but it's not like he's anything crazy. Minshew is a guy I'd consider at best to be a good backup quarterback. Now, I personally love Gardner Minshew. Minshew mania, still to this day, is one of my most memorable eras in the NFL. Like, I love the stash when he was with Jacksonville. Dude was slinging it. He was super exciting, but we can't sit here and say that he was necessarily you know that good he was actually pretty solid in uh jacksonville to be fair a lot of people forget that but you can't pass up on trevor lawrence come on now when he got signed by indianapolis it was speculated before the season started that Minshew might actually be the one to start the season while richardson kind of sat back on the bench and kind of learned and progressed a little bit behind the scenes as we know now that didn't end up happening richardson got the start from the jump in week one but that also didn't end up mattering because now it's Minshew again now i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say that this team is better off with Gardner Minshew as the starting quarterback, it's absolutely not. Anthony Richardson would 100% make this team better, but you know, to have Gardner Minshew there, to have that veteran presence that at least knows the Shane Steichen offense does help a bit. But you know, while I do love Gardner Minshew, I can't necessarily say he's that good of an NFL quarterback. He does certain things really well, but he definitely, to me, feels much more on par with like a Taylor Heineke type of quarterback. You know, a guy that's super exciting and is definitely going to get your blood pumping on game day, but not necessarily the guy that's going to be super safe and not lose the game for you because both of those guys have plenty of ability to do that. Over his entire career in the NFL, Gardner Minshew has been a relatively solid NFL quarterback, but this year I can't really say he's been necessarily that good. So far this season, he has 11 touchdowns and 11 turnovers. It really hasn't been anything amazing but he hasn't really needed it to be. The Colts are still a top 10 scoring offense in the league, and a lot of that has been due to their run game. There was a lot of drama around Indianapolis before the season started with the whole Jonathan Taylor and his contract holdout stuff, and ultimately, he went on the pup list. And then, for some reason down the line, Jim Irsay folded and met his demands with a three-year, $42 million extension. Now, of course, Jonathan Taylor has had his moments in the NFL. I mean, in 2021, he was the league's top back with 1,811 yards and 18 touchdowns. He was incredible, but he's still a running back and the injuries were definitely an issue last season. Looking back now, I still don't know if I would have personally paid him that type of money. But he has been good since coming back. In his seven games back, Taylor has rushed for 414 yards and four touchdowns with 4.1 yards per carry. But the reason I probably wouldn't be too quick to pay Jonathan Taylor is more because of his backup, Zach Moss. Moss has played really well this season. It felt like he was always going to break out in Buffalo and just, you know, never did. And now he's finally finally having the best season of his career in Indy. He has 672 yards and five touchdowns, averaging 4.8 yards per carry. Now, I will say this, the Jonathan Taylor contract does seem to have worked out so far because that JT Moss tandem is a big reason for the Colts' offensive success this year. Minshew really hasn't been that great, but it's not like the weapons around him in the pass 
passing game are very good. There are two guys with over 300 yards. Michael Pittman Jr. has a lot more than 300 with 784, and he's a good wide receiver who I do believe has slowly emerged into a low-end wide receiver one, but would probably be better off as a wide receiver two. Then there's Josh Downs, who has 566 yards after the Colts just took him in the third round. So that's a good sign for his development. Still though, the Colts offense has been surprisingly good this year, and I do think a lot of that credit has to go to Shane Steichen. Now, I am a massive fan of Shane Steichen. It really does feel like a home run hire for the Colts. What he's been able to do with this offense, despite losing your starting quarterback in the first five weeks, is nothing short of impressive. And because of that, he could very well win coach of the year. He's taken over a Colts team that won literally four games a year ago and has them currently sitting in a playoff spot if things can keep up. He's clearly turned this Colts team around and he seems like the perfect guy to help Anthony Richardson develop. Before getting the job in Indianapolis, he was the offensive coordinator for the Chargers and helped develop Justin Herbert and then was with the Eagles for the past two seasons and helped develop Jalen Hurts. I'm also sure that's a big reason why the Colts went out and got Gardner Minshew to be the their veteran quarterback because you know Steichen and Minshew are together in Philly. Now like I said I'm a huge fan of Shane Steichen. I think what he's been able to do with this team this year is absolutely incredible. The fact that this offense has been able to be super productive like top 10 in scoring this season with losing your starting quarterback and not having the best wide receiver core. Like granted I do like Michael Pittman Jr. Like I said I think he is a borderline wide receiver one and Josh Downs could very well be super good in the future of this league. But still this year alone Shane Steichen coming in and be able to perform like this and potentially even take this team to the playoffs is impressive as hell I really do think he should be a front runner for coach of the year I don't know just watching his post game speeches in the locker room after the wins just has me so fired up and ready to run through a wall for this guy I mean the Philadelphia offense last year was absolutely incredible and I do think now watching him in Indianapolis Shane Steichen had a big hand in all that as we know Philly hasn't looked quite the same since he's left they're still really good like Philadelphia is the best team in the NFL right now, at least when it comes to record. But I can't sit here and deny that Shane Steichen didn't have a major impact there while he was there because look at what he's doing in Indianapolis. I really do like this guy as the head coach. I think he's going to be around for a while. And just to see what he's doing with what he has right now, I can't even begin to imagine how good this team can be once he gets Anthony Richardson back. It goes past Shane Steichen too. Jim Bob Cooter, legendary name by the way, is the offensive coordinator. He was the passing game coordinator for the Jaguars last Last season as Trevor Lawrence really turned everything around. He was also a consultant with the Eagles in 2021 and was the Lions offensive coordinator in the mid-2010s. Now, all the eyes are on the offense, but the defense has been really good too. The Colts are currently top 10 in sacks and it's been a full team effort. There really isn't just one dude doing it. It's really all of them. They have four players with five or more sacks. Dio Odangbo leads the league with six and a half sacks. Sam Ebukam has six sacks. Quiddy Pay has five and a half. DeForest Buckner has five sacks. The whole defense is getting sacks. This Colts team isn't one with a ton of stars on it, but they're a scrappy team that's playing some good ball right now. The Colts could absolutely make the playoffs this season. Although they probably won't really do too much once they get there, but they could make it. But at the very least, if they do, that's a huge step in the right direction for this team because this is a stepping stone year and they're proving that they can actually build around Anthony Richardson. They have the pieces and now it's time to get AR back and try to develop him into the elite star that he has the potential to be. And Shane Steichen is absolutely the guy to get him there. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you like this one, make sure to smash that like button. And if you don't already, subscribe to the channel down below and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload by us. If you want more things JD, go ahead and follow us on socials at JDProdNFL. And if you want more things from me, follow my socials down here at the bottom of the screen. But yeah, this Colts team is a team that not a lot of people are talking about right now, but they're secretly a pretty solid team. Let me know what you guys think about the Colts down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about Anthony Richardson coming back next year and how good he can make this team. Just talk Colts in the comment section below and I'll make sure to interact with you guys. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.